Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about the brand new vehicles that were spotted in the KO Perico heist trailer that Rockstar actually revealed the other day. So in the artwork and in the actual footage, we got a lot of cool new vehicles to check out. And there's 10 in total that can be spotted. I'm sure that is not all the vehicles that will be arriving in this update. Some of them we had never seen before. Some were looks on vehicles we had seen from the previous teases. So let's go ahead and dive into them right now. This is in no particular order and how they show up. So we're just gonna be bouncing around, but the first vehicle that was really interesting to me was this super fun helicopter that I think could actually be seen on a handful of different shots in the trailer. The most prominent one is this one right here with our two characters sort of riding in the side passenger seat. You can see that it says Marines on the side and it's ultimately flying towards the island itself. That's when we see that for the first time. I believe it is also the same helicopter where this guy is actually rappelling down from. It looks like it has the same shape, same sort of body style. So I believe we are looking at the same helicopter right here. And this is most closely resembled to a Ghost Hawk helicopter. Now, this helicopter in real life is primarily based off of the UH-80 Ghost Hawk, which is a five-bladed twin-engine rotary wing stealth helicopter designed for sling-loading cargo and to transport troops into battle. So that gives you a pretty good idea of what the helicopter is going to be used like. Now, I don't know if it's going to have special features like some of the other helicopters in the game, like if it has a stealth ability like the Akula, or if it's going to have some unique features on there. Either way, it's just a pretty awesome helicopter. That's one of the first vehicles that we were able to pick up. The next is actually featured on the artwork itself. So Rockstar introduced brand new artwork for the Cayo Perico heist. And for this one, I wanna focus on the purple vehicle you can see towards the bottom of the screen. And when I first saw this, I instantly thought that this was going to be a sports classic. I also thought that it looked like it was an either an older Lamborghini and an older Maserati. And it looks like that that's actually the case. So as you guys know, Rockstar doesn't just base the vehicles that they introduce off of one car. It's usually a combination of things. So this is primarily based off of the Lamborghini Espada as well as an older version of the Maserati Ghibli, and also taking some hints from the Lamborghini Uraco as well. So those are primarily the three cars that uh, I think Rockstar was choosing here. And again, if I had to take a guess, I'm going to say that this is going to be a sports classic, just based off the look we've seen so far. And we only saw this car in the artwork. We didn't see it anywhere else in the trailer. So we don't have a ton of details so far on any more about the car. Sticking with the artwork in the very top, you can also see this jet flying above and it looks like two people have just parachuted from that jet. And a lot of people were wondering, what is this jet is going to be? Is it going to be massive? And it actually looks like this is the Tupolev B1 bomber. So I, obviously we only have one look of this vehicle. We also did not see that in the actual trailer. So we only can see what it looks like on still artwork, but this does look like it's the B1 bomber and this thing is actually huge. So I don't know if we're looking at a competitor to the Volotov here, or if this is going to be a more agile and stealthier fighter jet, we don't know. Just from looking at it, it looks like it's going to be pretty massive. So I'm not sure how this is going to operate, but that's one of the new aircrafts that we're gonna be getting in the game. It certainly looks like it's based off of the B1 bomber. The next vehicle that we can see from the artwork is the quad. These are the guys that are driving it in the center. And I don't know if this is a new quad. It does not look like the one we currently have in game. And I would imagine since this is going to be used for a heist that this would probably have some at least armored ability. Just from the front of it, it doesn't look like it has any weapons on there that we can see. Like, you know how Rockstar likes to stick like those little pea shooter guns uh, on the front of weapons. It doesn't look like it has that, but I do think that this is a brand new uh, utility vehicle, quad, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't think Rockstar would put something old in like the center of their new artwork. So that's just kind of what I'm thinking right there. Moving on, our next one is actually going back to the trailer. It was only shown off in one scene, and the way I describe it is it's the shark boat. 
because it has that like shark teeth mouth livery on the front. And a lot of people were wondering what this boat is. It actually looks kind of massive. It's also surrounded by our two weaponized dinghies, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But this shark boat right here is actually a Vietnam era PBR boat. And if you're wondering what PBR stands for, it actually stands for Patrol Boat River. So it makes sense that we would see a, a boat featured on an island like this where we're probably going to have to be navigating around waters and channels and lakes and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Now, from the trailer itself, we could see that this thing looks like it's going to be pretty weaponized. It also looks like it might have some armored capabilities on there as well. I also don't know how many people will be able to fit in this boat, but it looks pretty hefty. So I would imagine we're probably looking at around five to six total passengers here. Again, we only see it for one quick scene, so there's not a whole lot that we ultimately can get out of this. But still, it's a pretty cool boat, and I'm excited to see how effective this thing will be. After that, let's go back to the artwork, and in the top left-hand corner, you can actually see that there is a new version of the Sea Sparrow. Now, I don't know what this is going to be called because it's essentially the Sea Sparrow, but without like the water landing gear. I'm sure there's a more technical and proper term for it, but it's basically the Sea Sparrow, but with normal like helicopter landing gear. So again, it makes you wonder if there's going to be any additional upgrades to an aircraft like this. Like, for example, will it be armored? Will it be weaponized? Will there be features that make it better than the Sea Sparrow? Because the Sea Sparrow's big ability was to land on water. And if this can't, you would think it would need some sort of replacement. Otherwise, it's just a worse Sea Sparrow. So it'll be interesting to see how Rockstar handles that. But it, it was exciting to see that in the top left-hand corner. We also did not see that anywhere in the trailer. Uh, another vehicle that we got a lot more information about was the submarine. So in the artwork itself, you can see the submarine sort of rising out of the water. Now, we still don't know how the sub is going to work, whether it's only accessible during the heist, only usable when you're on the island. There's still a lot of questions from Rockstar that we just don't simply know about yet. So hopefully those will be answered before the actual heist arrives. But you guys can see there, that's what the submarine looks like as it's coming out of the water. We also got the chance to see what the submarine looked like again in a couple of shots from the trailer, which I'll show off right now. There was one where we got to see sort of the underside of it in the water, and then several shots of the submarine in action uh, as it was being used by our characters. So that is pretty cool. Uh, from this shot right here, there are five total people inside. I don't know if that is the maximum amount that you can have, if there is an unlimited amount, or if it's like the yachts where you can you know, fit 30 people on the inside of this thing, but there's only a limited number of stations you can use accessing things. I'm not entirely too sure, but again, it showed us using the missile launching system, which again, targeted a couple of helicopters. Now, after that, we got to see more of the weaponized dinghy that was featured in the first couple of teases. This was actually shown off in the trailer just a little bit. Uh, if you weren't paying attention, you might have actually missed it because it was featured at the same time as that new PBR boat. Uh, so you can see them on the left and right as well. And then you can also see what it looks like as one of our gunners is shooting from it very, very briefly. So it wasn't shown off a ton and they weren't highlighted as much as they were in the first trailer, but you can still see them a little bit. And the final vehicle is only featured on the artwork and that is the Willys Jeep. So you guys can see this in the bottom left-hand corner right here. And there's a couple of things written on there. I don't know if they're important. They might be customization like TF1 and E-U6. So I'm actually really excited about this. I'm assuming it's going to be thrown into the off-road category. I'm hoping it has some amazingly cool customization. And like all the vehicles we've seen here, I hope they are not limited to the actual heist or the island itself. I wouldn't imagine that would be the case, but that's sort of my underlying fear here is that a lot of these cool vehicles, especially the more weaponized and armored ones, might only be accessible on Cayo Perico or during the actual heist itself. Again, hopefully that's not the case, but with Rockstar, you never know. So those are all the vehicles that were spotted in the brand new Cayo Perico trailer. Uh, I think there's a lot of fun ones there as well as some of the ones we got shown off in the artwork too. Uh, I am excited to see how many vehicles there are. 
How many of these become drip feed if we get all of them on day one? Uh, I would, of course, love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about all the cars, vehicles, and more that we discussed in this video today. What are your thoughts on them? Which one are you most excited for? Let me know in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Cayo Perico Heist videos that I'll be doing here on my channel once the update actually arrives. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.